This is our new retail store display. And what we have here is something that moves the product in your store, especially if you have a lot of walk-in walk -in trade, which most of these do. But we've got quite a few of these around the country and they are working, guys. What, what this is right here is possibly one of everything here plus one to sell. So, in other words, if you bought two of each product, I'm not asking you to buy a dozen of each one because you've got to see what moves. So, what I've done is put a price rather than the tools. And you have a $1,500 minimum. I'll pay the shipping. And what I'll furnish you is this sign right here. The flange wizard sign, which has a magnetic base that will fit right on the end of your end cap or gondola. This happens to be an end cap, but it could be an inline display also. We will give you a pipe with a flange on it. These little V-blocks that hold it in place. Also a shelf here for your wizard racks. Then we'll give you all the part numbers that go on here so you'll know immediately what you have. But here's the deal what we do with our displays. If you have a product that, say, in your area is not moving, maybe the large flange line or something, we, will not, we don't take products back, and neither does our national wholesaler, but they will exchange it for something that does move in your area. So we're very proud of this display, and it does work well and sell the product, because what you can see and feel the guys love it and they, you know, you know, they'll buy something once they see how it works. So again, I want to thank you guys for watching all, all of our uh, displays that we've had here and that today. And I'm going to go to some shows to work with you, all of you distributors, the AWS and a, a lot of other shows around the country. So on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again This is our new retail store display. And what we have here is something that moves the product in your store, especially if you have a lot of walk-in walk -in trade, which most of these do. But we've got quite a few of these around the country and they are working, guys. What, what this is right here is possibly one of everything here plus one to sell. So, in other words, if you bought two of each product, I'm not asking you to buy a dozen of each one because you've got to see what moves. So, what I've done is put a price rather than the tools, and you have a $1,500 minimum. I'll pay the shipping, and what I'll furnish you is this sign right here, the flange wizard sign, which has a magnetic base that will fit right on the end of your end cap or gondola. This happens to be an end cap, but it could be an inline display also. We will give you a pipe with a flange on it, these little V-blocks that hold it in place, also a shelf here for your wizard racks. Then we'll give you all the part numbers that go on here so you'll know immediately what you have. But here's the deal what we do with our displays. If you have a product that, say, in your area is not moving, maybe the large flange line or something, we, will not, we don't take products back, and neither does our national wholesaler, but they will exchange it for something that does move in your area. So we're very proud of this display, and it does work well and sell the product, because what you can see and feel the guys love it and they, you know, you know, they'll buy something once they see how it works. So again, I want to thank you guys for watching all, all of our uh, displays that we've had here and that today. And I'm going to go to some shows to work with you, all of you distributors, the AWS 
and a, a lot of other shows around the country. So on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. The life I love is making music with my friends. And I can't wait to get on the road again. that I want to show you is the little circle wheels. It's a little tool that will cut from a half inch up to oh, about an eight inch hole. You get any larger than that, you need to move the one with the wheel. But this this will do that size and, and it will fit like I'm telling you on any torch except plasma. We do make the same things for plasma the same way. I'll go on and demo how you do. You center punch wherever you want your hole, set your radius, on this hex shaft, reach under the torch always to start your hole. And just pull it around nice and easy. You see it doesn't get hot in my hands because I'm sitting here cutting without even a glove or shoes on. This little tool does a fine job every time, as long as you get your torch set in the right way. Now the next step up, using the same bushing, we don't use bearings in ours because bearings after a while get flat and they start making rough spots in your cut. So we went to strictly brass bushings. And if you can see, this here is almost as clean as if you did it with a plasma guy, cutter. We do have the same thing for a plasma. That's what I was going to show you right now. The same tool, only for plasma. You have to order the set of the right bushing for your plasma guy. You do the same thing. You put a center punch mark, and all you do is pull it right around. That's, and it does a beautiful job. If you think that's clean when the plasma blows through, it's, there is not a blemish in it. But always order the bushing. Your bushing comes with the tool, but order it along with the tool. There's a part number for your bushing at the same time. Now the next step up for these is, we'll go back now to the conventional cutting guide. This is called a chariot cutting guide. It is the same as the small one, same bushing set up and everything, except it has wheels for straight irregular shapes, you have a lot of control with the back part of this, that's why we call it a cherry. You may have radiuses you want to follow. When you want to cut circles with this one, take out one axle, and you turn the other one 90 degrees. And now, what you've got is a large circle burn. This will go up to 42 inches and down to the 5 eighths of an inch for a small hole. You don't need the wheels when you get into uh, any holes, you know, up to oh, 4 to 6 inch. You don't need any wheels. But when you get larger than that, you do need to have wheels on there. You actually can stack the axles on this little tool, make a little dually out of it. And trim off the edges of plates. You can actually chamfer plates. And it's probably one of the best selling tools that we have is the little chariot guy. We have the very same tool for plasmas. The plasma 601 cutting guy. And it's right here. And it shows you the same as I used on the small one. This one just has the wheel so that you can go along and cut straight lines. You can use it to cut circles. Only with this one, you just take, it's slotted right here, and we have a slot in the very end. So you just take one of these wheels off and put it in the very end, take the other one off, and you have a circle burn. 
Now that shows you the conventional and the plasma guides. The next thing we're going to get into in just a minute is the straight 304 stainless torch guides. We're now moving on to our structural and layout guides. Our straight torch guides have a 304 stainless rail. They're two foot long, they come with two strong 30 pound pull magnets. Guys, I've slotted these magnets on three sides and that lets you do it a lot of different things. You can put it on the end of your cutting rail, you can put it horizontal to your cutting rail, you can actually put it perpendicular to the cutting rail. And there's lots of different times that you want to change your magnets. Now, also, you can get an extension for this, which I'll show you in a minute, but before we get to showing you the extension, I want to show you also this little structural adapter you put on the end of your torch that we have that helps hold the distance from the from your and saves a lot of tips. So therefore, in other words, if you set your pin and you put it on top of your rail and you pull it very slowly along there, you can see that it holds the right distance for you. You can buy these extensions in two foot lengths and you get one extra magnet with it. And what I'm going to show you is how that you can extend these. As you can see here, I've kind of placed it in here halfway between the block. You get an extra magnetic block that goes with it. So you can put as many extensions as you want on this. You could go for, for a mile if you wanted to. Now I'd like to show you the set of our three magnetic blocks. They come in a set so that you're able to do things what, like I'm showing you right here. You see, I put a, a little pipe fitter square together just by clamping these in different positions. They're very good to hold your squares for you when you're trying to uh, fabricate uh, some boxes or whatever it may be, or use them to make your own straight edges like we did here. But we've slotted them in three sides so that you can do so many different things with them. The next item I'd like to introduce to you is our magnetic angle burning guide. Again, we have a 304 stainless rail. All your degrees are here in two and a half degree increments. You have magnets on the very bottom, magnets on the, the, the lower side so that you can use this as a protractor. Not only can you use it as a protractor, but by using these lower magnets, you put it on a flat plate and you've got a way to use as a torch guide or any kind of guide that you may want to use. We've also cut this little hand hole in here so that you can use this as a tri-square or a multi-angle layout guide. At any angle that you may want on channel, I-beam, H-beam, flat plate, you can see that you can actually use it like a tri-square. Put it all the way across, Mark your angles. This again, you can add the extensions to it if you ever have to. The same as you have right here. All my tools are the same height, so you're able to use like the little magnetic blocks that I had showed you earlier by adding extensions to them. And again, you can go as long as you want to. A line is never complete without having levels of all different sizes. This first little level, which it is very small. It has a 25 pound pull magnet on the very bottom. Plus it has a magnet on the end, which is a rare earth magnet, which is very strong. What I did this for was, not only do you have a little shirt pocket level, but you have something to hold your tape. This tape, you can go as far as you want one way, but you actually can turn and go the other way. It holds it. Some of these new tapes that you get now that you buy have magnets in the end of them, but you can't use them when you're in the middle of your work. There's nowhere to hook them. So this here, you can line up with your line. It'll grab your tape, but you can also turn and go the other way with it. 
this has proved to be a very versatile little tool and the pipe fitters really like it. Now going to the next size, we have a little shirt pocket level. <clears throat> it has two and a half degree increments, two rare earth magnets in the very bottom, which are very strong. And the reason that we come up with this little shirt pocket level, I call it, when I used to work in refineries, we'd have to get up very high sometimes to work on towers and work on spools that were, that were wearing out but weren't completely wore out yet, so you, they were still alive. A guy had to carry his tools way up this ladder, maybe 150 feet. So he's got this little shirt pocket he can take up there, read all his different degrees, and everything would be so much easier for him and not have to worry about falling off a ladder. So a lot of the car dealers use this now for setting drive lines. There's a lot of uses for this little small shirt pocket magnetic level. Going to our Cadillac, we call this our Pocket Pro level. It has a 35 pound pull magnet in the, in the base. Your, your degrees are in two and a half degree increments, spring loaded, the same vial that's in all our tools, so you're able to repair this in the field. You also have a horizontal and a vertical level built right in this small Pocket Pro level. It is a very genuinely well-built level that you would love to have with a 35 pound pull magnet and it's one of the finest levels on the market today. Rounding our, uh, our structural steel tool line is our three sets of radius markers. We have the very small radius markers which go up to a 22 inch circle or radius and all you simply do is measure your radius Set it in a little center punch mark. And make your mark. This is a small. This goes up to 22 inch diameter circles. Our next one is our medium, which goes up to a 50 inch circle. And the same thing it applies to it. A center punch mark, mark your radius. They're all spring loaded to last for a long time and they're set at, at attention to where when you set them, they won't be moving around on you. This will hold a square soapstone, a carpenter's pencil, or a round, a round pencil also. Next we have is our extra large that goes up to a hundred inch circle. This here also is made to where it locks in the center because there's nothing more aggravating to get to a real long radius and you get way out into the center part of it and it moves on you. So a welder, you know, actually called me on it and said you need to lock that center. So, you know, we do listen to you guys out in the field. So we've made it to where you can lock this center and actually mark your radius and it never moves on you. And this concludes our structural steel layout guides. Welcome to the world of Flange Wizard Tools. Flange Wizard Tools originated in 1981 when Bob Doan, who had been a pipe welder for 28 years, started designing and manufacturing tools that would assist pipe workers to get their jobs accomplished easier, quicker, and more precise. He knows firsthand what the workers on the job need. Flange Wizard tools are proudly made in the USA and sold throughout a network of wholesalers and distributors. Flange Wizard tools is truly the welder's choice for quality. Still at the helm, Bob the Big Wizard continues to bring his expertise to the design and bettering of the Flange Wizard tool product line. We value customer comments and suggestions on what they need on the job to help us bring the best product to market. Bob is also the face of Wizard Tools at trade shows and distributor sales meetings throughout the United States and internationally. It is our hope that this video series will help a wider audience see the benefits of owning Flange Wizard Tools. There is no one better than the Big Wizard himself to demonstrate and explain 
some of the many uses of the Flange Wizard Tools product line. Well, after that flattering introduction, uh, Little Wiz, you know, I guess we better do a good job of trying to demonstrate these tools. We're going to do these in a series. There's probably about three series, and the first series we're going to start with is the pipe layout tools. Now, the very first tool that I designed was called the Flange Wizard. We make three models of the Flange Wizard. It's actually called the Pipe Flange Line. The threaded standard type. We also have the tension model, which just slides on and off. You just put it on, self-center it, and it goes right on and self-centers in the holes. The only thing about the ones that have the slit in them, you have to remember if you beat on the flange any, you have to reach up and tighten these because they have a tendency to want to loosen up, where the threaded models do not do that. I'll tell you, there's a lot of different ways of making these lamp pins and that. You can only put them on so fast, guys. So the best that I've found in, in all of it is just the fast threads. And you can't put them on any faster than this. This is called a double lead thread. It's not an Acme thread that we use. Acme thread is a little wider. This here is travels faster, but it has a tighter grip so that when you beat on the flanges net, it won't have a tendency to back off. All of our tools have the same level valve in them too. The same little level valve goes in of our levels, our, our markers, and everything so that you're able to replace them without having to look all over the United States or somewhere to try and find a valve that'll fit. We have little repair kits for that where you can repair them right into the field. The standard alignment here flanges up to the 30 inch, 150 pound series. The best way to do it is to say this will go up to an inch and 7 16 hole. The next size up, which is a two inch flange aligner, which has an 18 inch bar in it, just like this one. This one will go up to one and five, 15 16 holes. So therefore, that's the best way to know which, which size you would need. We actually have in our, in our newest product line here is the three inch. We've made it very light so that you can, it's, it doesn't weigh a ton. It looks like it would weigh a lot, but it really doesn't. It's very light. You have an extension on it in case you get into thick 900 series pound flanges or 1200 pound. You, you guys know that sometimes they get very thick, so you'll need this extension. If you don't, you don't have to use the extension. This comes in its own case. Besides the aligners, we, we do have the two-hole pins. Every tool that I showed you also has just the set of two-hole pins. That's for the guys that still want to use the level across them. The next pipe layout tools that we have are the centering head tools. These have two and a half degree increments. All our centering head tools are magnetic, no matter where you place it it stays right on the pipe. That way it frees your hand up so that you can tap your center punch and it marks the center of the degree you want around the circumference of the pipe. We don't even need a set screw to hold the center pin because it also has a magnet that holds tension on it. These dials here all have the same level vial that the other tools do and can be repaired in the field. We also have the smaller version of the centering head tool. Everything is the same except this is good for like old inch and a half pipe up to about a six inch pipe. The other one will go from six in on, on up to uh, infinity because it doesn't make, it doesn't have to set in the saddle to get the proper angle reading. It'll get it no matter where you set the centering head. So these vials, like I say, you don't have to buy the whole new vial to, if you break it the whole dial I'm talking about. You can replace it, there is a place right in the end of it, you can pull this vial out and repair it. Our wraparound series, we have four standard models of the wraparounds. This is the extra large, which goes up to 48 inch pipe. It is seven inches wide and 180 inches long. The next series is the large. This is five and a quarter inches wide and 10 foot long. And this here one will go up to 30 inch pipe. 
The next one is our standard, which is four inches wide and it goes up to a 16 inch pipe and it is 60 inches long. Then we have the small. This goes up to six inch pipe. It is two and seven eighths inches wide, two and five eighths inches wide, I'm sorry. And it is 30 inches long. Now I'm going to show you the small one because they're all screened the same way. What do we stress on our wraparounds? Very smooth edges because you use this to wrap around the pipe, you need a smooth edge to mark it with. So we not only after it is sliced, they're sand. So you don't have burrs that all over your pipe. Some of people do not even screen the small wraps, but we we do. We screen every size that we have of the four, of the four standard models. On this is a scale that you can see just for pipe. And what it tells you is everything from a, about a two from a two inch up to a thirty inch pipe. Gives you the quarter, the half, three quarter, and back to the full circumference. That way it makes it easy for you to lay out and section pipe. You don't have to set and figure out all the different angles. It's all made of non-asbestos material, and you know, back when we had the old asbestos it was the best you can get, but you can't use asbestos anymore. So therefore, we've searched for years and we finally come up with a material that has a lot of vinyl in it, and it'll withstand the moisture and heat. We put these wraps in a hard tube which as you guys know in boxes and everything they'll smash and you'll lose them and this and that but these tubes are very strong you can throw them in your toolboxes and at least they're going to last you for a good while without falling apart we have special cuts we have two custom cuts you can buy seven inch wide wraps up to 600 feet long we have a five and a quarter inch that you can buy up to 600 feet long the next pipe layout tools that we have, there's two models of them. These mark all your angles and saddles around pipe, structural steel beam, uh, channel iron, uh, plates. We have adapters that go on the bottom of these that'll hook onto the sides of the square plate. And that's our, our channel and, and uh, I beams. Now these tools right here are all magnetic, both of them. I'm showing you the master marker and the miter marker, which is the little smaller version of, of our large master marker. The little miter marker is good for, oh, say four inch up to about an 18 inch pipe. Whereas your big master marker here will go up to 48 inch pipe and go down to about an eight inch pipe. Now what's unique about these, both legs on both of these models are magnetic, so you don't have to hold them. All your levels and vials are built in on the sides. You have a quartering vial, you, you, you have your horizontal so that when you do level the top, these both these tools are in dead center. You don't have to have a center line. The unique part of, of these tools is I put the marking arm on its own telescoping and rotating 360 degree shaft. And guys, that opens up a whole new world when it comes to marking pipe. Or structural beams too, as far as that goes. Now, when I say it opens up a new world, I'm set up here to show you how to mark a saddle. Now I'm set up and I went ahead and marked this side of my saddle as you can see. Now without having to change these degrees, rotate this tool or anything, I'm going to be able to mark this other side with no mistakes because I have a little collar right here on the shaft that I set. And when I get ready to mark this side that I'm on, all I do is loosen this shaft rotate it 180 degrees, reread uh, re -read the level that's in the marking arm here, latch it down, and now I'm already ready to mark this other side of my saddle. No mistakes.
everything is right there. What makes it nice, you can telescope out over your fittings, over old wells. If you've got a 90 degree fitting, you can change this around and make it a 45. There are so many different things that, you, that you're able to do with these tools. Now, everything that I'm explaining to you on the master marker here is also on the little miter marker. It's just that you've got a different size pipe that you can work with here. One thing that I didn't show you, and both of them have, is this hole right here was put in there. It's a 90 degree hole that you can actually place this at a 90 degree angle and work, level it up, and actually work on a spool. If it has a little stub out here with a fitting and you want to change that fitting, you can do it with this right here. You can also work from this end or from this end of the body. Now, what makes this so unique when people ask me, how large a pipe will these mark? Well, I gave you the size, but the idea of being able to re-level this head opens up this whole new world. This is all set on an angle. Now, if I move this, I've lost my angle, as you can see. But the beauty of this one here, in order to keep this same angle, you cannot go around the circumference on the surface. You would have to orbit to keep it on the same angle. And so what's unique about this tool is you can move it around the pipe, re-level this shaft, and it puts it right back on the same angle like it was on top. <clears throat> so therefore, I could take this little small one and mark very large pipe, but I give you an 18 inch because there is margin of error there. So anyway, by being able to re-level these heads, there's hardly any limit to what you can do with these, with this little mark and the master mark. We also have, in case you're working with stainless or different uh, pipe, we've got this latch down strap. We've got a slot in here, you can put it through and it comes right in the box with the tool. We don't put it in the small one because you're, you're able to get it if you want, but most of the time you don't need this when you're able to hold it. But when you get into some of this larger stuff, you want to really latch it down, and this does a very good job of doing it. That's the last of our pipe layout tools, and we're going to move into our burning guides and that on the next series. We also offer some, uh, a different variety of cases because a lot of you welders like to have all your tools in one case. You can buy these separately or you can buy it in the case. This first case is called a pipe magician. What I've done here is I've put in the pocket pole level, the flange aligner, center of the head, and one little wizard wrap. The next one is called our little wizard burning guides. This is for guys that do a lot of burning. It's our chariot cutting guide that I showed you earlier for straight and circle cuts for conventional torches and it fits on any torch that you may have. Also with it is the little tape holder, the three little magnetic blocks that you can make your own burning guides with, or hold your squares at any angles, and the magnetic base for any large circles that you may want to cut need a magnetic base. This little torch guide here is the one that I showed you earlier to put on your torch and run it along your guides. This next one is called the Little Wiz, and it's up, it has the Little Wizard cutting guide in it for small circles that fits on any torch. Your tape holder, the small shirt pocket level, and the small centering head tool. The next little case is the large three inch two hole pins that I had showed you earlier. These come in a case. So when you get tools like this, guys that are precision and that, you need to protect them. So we decided to put these.
we've all done this awkward poor body mechanics and really uh, just not a good practice could hurt your back could fall drop the bottle what's a better way the new gas grab tool is a new tool that uh, will share the load it'll uh, provide handles for the bottle so that two guys can easily grab the load walk it across the floor pick the bottles up transport them as they need to safely and effectively and very easy tool to use comes right off and they're done The SureCut system offers a complete exothermic cutting system that is highly portable and can be used in confined spaces where there is not enough room to use the 10-foot, 6-inch burning bars. It works off the same principle as the big burning bars. It's an exothermic reaction and again is based on a given volume of molten fuel combined with a given volume of oxygen. This system requires only 8 to 10 cubic feet of oxygen per minute and can be used with a single high-pressure cylinder. The SureCut holder can be converted from a quarter inch to three eighths inch or three sixteenths inch diameter rods by simply changing the brass collet in the head. The SureCut system can operate at a very wide range of pressures from 50 to 150 PSI depending upon the application. SureCut rods are available in lengths of 18, 24, 36 and 48 inches. The SureCut rods can be ignited with a 12 volt car battery thus reducing the amount of support equipment required. The operator can control the oxygen volume with the variable flow valve. Sure cut rods can be used to make small cuts in heavy plate or to pierce starter holes in plate for shape cutting machines. Sure cut rods work extremely well for gouging applications where the operator does not have a welding machine and air compressor to run the arc gouge. Gouging can be performed at much faster rates than a carbon arc process. When the gouge is complete, there's no carbon residue to be ground out of the steel. For gouging, the oxygen pressure can be varied to give the operator more precise control. The SureCut system is ideal for companies performing maintenance on heavy equipment. It is also used by fire and rescue personnel for breaching operations and rescue work. Companies like Boots and Coots use this system when they are putting out oil well fires. The system can cut underwater, affording them the capability of keeping their personnel under a heavy spray of water and still be able to cut into oil field conductors or to cut the heavy bolts off the wellhead flanges. Surecut rods are ideal for removing frozen pins. With the smaller diameter rods, pins as small as 3 quarters inch can be pierced and removed from heavy equipment. Larger pins can be removed from equipment where access is limited and there's not enough room to use the big bar. The Surecut system requires all the same safety precautions required for burning bars. The biggest difference in the two systems is the oxygen pressure and volume required for the Surecut system. The oxygen pressure for the shirt cut rods can be varied from 40 to 150 PSI and the volume between 4 and 10 cubic feet per minute. Always use the correct size collet for the rod being used. By changing the collet, the operator can use three different size rods, 3 16 1 quarter, and 3 8 When inserting the rod into the holder, ensure that the rod goes all the way through the collet and seats in the rubber grommet. The collet is the electrical contact for the arc process. Prior to using the system, Inspect the threads on the collet nut and on the collet bolt. Check the collet for damage or wear and inspect the rubber grommet. Replace any parts that show signs of wear or damage. The SureCut system is equipped with an anti-slag safety device. For normal cutting, set the pressure between 70 and 90 PSI depending on the thickness of the material being cut. Thicker material requires higher pressure. For gouging, the pressure can be adjusted between 40 and 90 PSI to give the operator more control over the amount of material removed. Gouging requires that the SureCut rod is held almost parallel to the material being gouged. 
For piercing operations, the pressure can be adjusted from 70 to 150 PSI, depending on the length of the material to be pierced. Deeper piercings require higher pressure. When piercing, the operator has to keep the rod moving in and out of the cut to keep the slag moving out of the cut and to prevent the rod from sticking. For some piercing applications, the operator may want to use the optional insulated rods. For all applications where a welding machine is going to be used and the material will always be grounded, you should use the insulated rods. OxyLance offers the SureCut rod in a bare rod and an insulated rod. Insulated rods can be used underwater or can be used with a welding machine where the material being cut is grounded and the operator is constantly arcing the rod during the cut. Always wear proper safety clothing and eye protection. Never operate an oxygen system that has leaks. Always make sure the burning bar goes through the rubber grommet and seats in the base of the holder. For the sure cut, make sure the rod goes through the collet and seats in the rubber grommet. Never attempt to ignite a burning bore or sure cut rod that is stopped up or has low oxygen flow. Never use oxygen for breathing. Always use pure oxygen. Do not use air or other gases in burning bars. Never operate burning bars if regulator and oxygen hose are freezing up. Never operate burning bars alone. Always have a fire watch or an assistant. Again, please remember, the first priority at OxyLance is safety. Do not perform cutting operations without first reading all safety material and reviewing OSHA and ANSI requirements. For more information about OxyLance and our products, please visit our website at www.oxylance.com or call us at 205-322-9906. TigChamp Brush DC Plus, the innovative technology that sets a new benchmark for post-weld finishing in stainless steel. The fastest known weld cleaning machine available. It has higher applicable power, delivering more effective amps, which in turn means an extremely fast operation. The direct current means that the finished welds are electro-polished with a smoother, reflective finish and delivers a passive layer offering the most corrosive resistance as proven in university testing. Sandvik Materials Technology also tested the TigChamp Brush DC Plus and concluded that the electro cleaning can improve the corrosion resistance to a level above that of the original parent metal. Importantly, the direct current reduces micro pitting problems and contamination created with alternating current electrochemical cleaners. The unique brushes and the patented fluctuating wave shakes atoms loose for a speedier clean. The range of brushes suit all joint geometry whilst also ensuring precision application. The TigChamp Brush DC Plus is featured in the Australian Technology Showcase being a government program that supports innovative Australian technology. The resulting finish exceeds the Australian standard for surface finishing of welds and also meets ASTM A380 practice for cleaning, descaling and passivation of stainless steel. On top of this, it's a simple setting free operation, so operator errors are eliminated. The Australian Welding Institute concluded the best method of post-weld finishing stainless steel is electro-polishing. It increases density of the chromium and creates a microscopically smoother surface. And it can only be achieved with a DC portable machine. Stainless steel weld cleaning is no longer labour intensive and the weld will no longer be a potential corrosion point. Get a competitive edge with a more corrosive resistant finish work. Save time and labour and provide a safer working environment with the TigChamp Brush DC Plus.